the busy world of Richard Scary. Bananas, but I can manage. I'm just delivering some fruit to Hank the grocer. You're not going to leave those bananas unguarded, are you? Oh, I think they'll be all right. They're not going anywhere. How about if I guard them for you? It'll be no trouble at all. That's very nice of you. Thank you. You can count on me. Bananas should know better than to park in front of a fire hydrant. Is there a problem, Sergeant Murphy? Yes, your car is parked right in front of this fire hydrant. What if there were a fire and we needed to use it? Gee, I'm sorry, Sergeant Murphy. I'll move my banana mobile right away. I sure wish we'd caught some fish for supper. Fish, my favorite food. Mm. Want a picnic with us? Is something wrong? <laughs> Turn up goats bananas. I was looking after them, and now they're gone. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll help you look for them. They just disappeared. She said they weren't going anywhere. Well, the first thing to do is look for a clue. Don't forget your hat. You wouldn't want to lose that, too. But I'm already wearing my hat. So, this is someone else's hat. Aha! Uh -huh. Whoever owns this hat may know something about the missing bananas. Our first clue! Mr. Crumble, is this your hat? My hat? No, I have my hat. It's my suitcase that's lost. So now what do we do? Got to find my suitcase. Oh, goody! Ha! Uh, hat! <laughs> uh, heavy hat! Wow! Nice hat! Thank you! Looks like it fell out of a tree! Well, it certainly fell onto the right head! <laughs> Everyone in town and no one owns this hat. Turnip Go will think I stole her bananas. Don't worry. Somebody has to know something about this hat. Right. Bananas don't just walk off by themselves. Uh, are you sure? Look at that. Maybe they do. Gotcha. <gasps> what are you doing? This is my hat. If you want a beautiful hat like this, you'll have to get your own. Actually, we already have a hat. We just don't know who it belongs to. Oh, that's Benny Baboon's old hat. How do you know? Because I just saw him wearing a new hat that looks just like mine. I started a trend. He has a hat like yours? Not quite. His only had bananas. Which way did he go, Hilda? I saw him at the train station. Thanks, Hilda. You gave us clue number two. Mr. Frumble! Have you seen Benny Baboon? Benny Baboon? No, but I did find my suitcase. Whoa! 
Whoa! A banana! Our third clue. Thanks, Mr. Frumble. Hey, look over there. A trail of bananas. Oh, boy, banana stew. Should we peel the bananas before or after cooking them? Stop! Don't peel those bananas! Really, bananas? You don't have to steal them from us. We'll share them with you. I'm not stealing. I'm guarding these bananas. They belong to Turnip Goat. There goes dinner. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Aw, uh, Benny, we found your hat. My hat? Thanks very much. I'd better get these bananas back before Turnip Goat finds out they're missing. Thanks for everything, guys. Well, let's have our picnic. Sorry we didn't bring any banana stew along, but you're welcome to what we brought. Ooh. Looks good. Oh, that'll do. Yum. <laughs> Thank you for watching my bananas. Sure thing, Turnip Goat. It was a pleasure. As a reward for being responsible, I want you to have these. Gee, thanks. I hope it wasn't any trouble. Trouble? <laughs> oh, no trouble at all. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. Ow! Why don't these apples stay in the tree? Because of gravity. What's gravity? Oh! There's a force in the earth which is called gravity that pulls things down like the apples from a tree. If you knock something over and it falls Whoa. to the ground, it's the earth's gravity that's pulling it down. Whoa. So gravity, earth's gravity. You throw a ball way up high in the air. Gravity's pull won't let it stay up there. Softly, or it's pouring really loud. The force of gravity pulls it down from the cloud. Now we see why apples fall from the tree. Everything would fly away without gravity. The water, the air, even you and me. We all would fly away without gravity. Earth's gravity. Huh? Thanks, gravity. <laughs> Ciao. Welcome to Rome. People come here from around the world to see the famous sites. Like the Colosseum, St. Peter's Basilica, and the beautiful Trevi Fountain. But sightseeing in Rome is not always easy. Just ask Federico and Maria. Oh, Federico, look, Rome, the eternal city. And I'm going to show you all the places you've read about, Maria. The Spanish Steps, the Pantheon, the Via Veneto. Ah, but first we must toss a coin into the Trevi Fountain for good luck. Do you know how to get to the Trevi Fountain? <laughs> certo, of course I know how to get there. It's a good thing this car has a spare tire. I think we're ready to roll off to the Trevi Fountain. And to some good luck. Federico, don't you think we are going a bit fast? I'm making up for lost time. We've got to hurry if we want to see everything. Uh-oh. What I see is that we are being followed. Since you are new to Rome, Signor, I'll let you off with a warning. Federico, why don't you ask him how we get to the Trevi Fountain? Maria, I don't need to. Oh, it's very simple. Go straight ahead, make a right, jog a bit to the left, take another right over the bridge, past the stop sign, another left through the tunnel and past the tower. Will you remember all that? It doesn't matter. I already know how to get there. 
Federico, this road looks very familiar. And so does this policeman. Maria, please do not ask him for directions again. Uh, Federico, everyone seems to be driving faster than we are. Oh, mamma mia! Now we are out of gas! Senor, somewhere between speeding and blocking traffic, there is a legal speed to drive. We certainly could use a lucky fountain today. Why don't you learn to drive? Why don't you learn to mind your own business? Federico, I don't need to see everything today. Let's just get to the Trevi Fountain. But, Maria, I promised you we'd see all the famous places. <sighs> now, where are we? Ah, oh, bravissimo! Now I've broken a Roman statue. Thank goodness Maria didn't see that. I'd better get it repaired right away. Explain. Just follow that car. Hey, Bello, I always hoped someone would say that to me. Huh? Finally something to see. Oh, that's the Roman Forum. We have to stop at that car. The Arch of Constantine. Poor Maria. She must be terrified. Oh, look. The Trajan Column! And there's the Pantheon! I never saw driving like that in my life, and I'm a Roman taxi driver. Oh, we better call the Carabinieri. If I can't catch them, no one can. There it is. Better slow down. My Federica, you've been working out. Whoa. Whoa. Maria! Maria, are you all right? Yes, Federica, why do you... Huh? A statue? A statue? Oh, Federico, I'm fine now. I can't believe a statue was driving. H how? Where were... Shh! It doesn't matter. You did get to see these sights after all. Oh, Federico, I did, didn't I? Most people throw a coin in the Trevi Fountain for luck. But Federico and Maria threw in their entire car. And now they'll have good luck forever. Play it safe. Bye. Bye-bye. See you later. Do you boys know what to do now that we're home alone? What do you mean, Hilda? Sometimes you may be on your own when your mom and dad are not at home. Get yourself on the safety track. Lock the doors both front and back. Say you're alone, take a message. Say mom and dad will call them back when you're home alone. If the doorbell rings, don't put yourself in danger. First, see who it is, never open to a stranger. Play it smart when you're home alone. Play it smart with the doors and the phone. Play it smart. 
I forgot my keys. What took you so long? We were playing it safe. Let me through, Sergeant Murphy. Everyone needs me. Mother Cat's washing machine has a leak, Hopper Dick's bread mixer is broken, and the post office sorter is stuck, and who knows what else? All right, then, you better hurry. But please come back when you can and fix this traffic light. Voila! Your automatic bread mixer's as good as... Uh, new, Mr. Hubberdink. Thank you, but you look like you could use a rest, Mr. Fixit. I can't stop now. There's too much to do. Everyone needs Mr. Fixit. Seems everyone needs bread, too. I'm way behind. I hope I can catch up. Don't worry. You're going to have so much bread, you won't know what to do with it all. Ah! Mr. Fixit, come back! Voila! There's no problem I can't fix, boys. Your washing machine is... Oh, ugh, ready to go. It looks like there's one problem you can't fix, Mr. Fixit. How to get more sleep. Can't be helped, Mrs. Cat. Everyone needs Mr. Fixit. Oh, no! Mr. Fixit left too soon. Great. My mail sorter's not out of sorts anymore. Thanks, Mr. Fixit. Mr. Fixit? <laughs> Fixit's the name and ugh, fixin's the game. Poor Mr. Fixit. You better go home and get some rest. Huh? Uh, yeah. Uh. Sorry I took so long, Sergeant R Murphy. Oh, what a busy day. I know what you mean, Mr. Fixit. I've been directing traffic here all morning. My arms could sure use a rest. No time to rest when there are nails to hammer and wires to cross. Hmm. can rest your arms. Thank you, Mr. Fixit. I don't know what Busy Town would do without you. Uh, Mr. Fixit, it's broken again. Let me try a little adjustment. Is it working now? Well, all the lights are green. <laughs> and nobody's stopped. Let me see. Oh, what about this green one? Uh, hmm. Let's try this. Mr. Fixit, my mail sorter is throwing letters into the next county. Mr. Fixit, our house is full of suds. What about my truck? It's squashed like a tomato. Don't worry, everybody. Fix it's the name and. And fixin' still the game. Let me help you, Sergeant Murphy. Help me? No thanks, Mr. Fixit. I'll help you then, Soybean Goat. Well, I don't think so. Don't look at me, Mr. Fixit. Mother Cat? Surely you want me to help you. No. No thanks. It's not that bad. Nothing we can't take care of ourselves. Now nobody wants my help. After all I've done. Fine. If that's the way they feel, they can fix their own... Ugh, their own... everything. I knew I could fix this myself! I wish Mr. Fixit were here. There. Now to load the fruit. I think I'd better get Mr. Fix-It. 
Sergeant Murphy, uh, how'd you get your motorcycle back together? I know a thing or two about mechanics, boys. Of course, a thing or two might not be quite enough in this case. Maybe we all do need Mr. Fix-It. Mr. Fix-It? Hello? Nobody's home. Please come out, Mr. Fix-It. We need your help. No, you don't. You said you didn't. We all tried to fix our cars and bikes and trucks. But we can't do it. We're all depending on you, Mr. Fix-It. We're sorry we hurt your feelings. We were wrong. Busy Town can't survive without you. You really mean that? Yes. Can you fix this mess? But of course I can. Now go on and let me work. Aha! Thanks, Mr. Fixit. I always wanted a banana pickup truck. Thank you, Mr. Fixit. Thanks, Mr. Fixit. And you did a great job on my motorcycle. I always wanted a sidecar. Hop in. I'll give you a ride. How do you like your signal now, Sergeant Murphy? It's perfect. Hold on tight now. Show. 